Welcome to this demonstration of Nutrient Panel. We will enter a recipe for basil pesto. First enter the name of the recipe. Serve size is required to calculate quantity per serving values. Click Add Ingredient to start building our recipe. We have available the nutrient data from four regions Australasia, Canada, UK and USA. Select the source that best meets your requirements. To find nutrients, enter a keyword for the ingredient and click search to return matches from the selected database. Click the short name to select the best match from the returned records. Add the ingredient weight and click add ingredient to save to the recipe. Repeat this process to build the recipe. Weights must be entered as metric. If you use imperial weights, use the convert imperial to metric screen for equivalent values. Note there is a difference for UK and USA imperial measurements. You can select the appropriate source for your requirements. You can edit the custom name for the ingredient. This is what appears on the labels that include an ingredient list. Another feature in Nutrient Panel is weight change. The cooking process may change the recipe's initial weight and you can reflect this with either a final weight or a weight change percentage to factor in the cooking process. Nutrient Panel now interfaces with Price Cracker, a cost analysis tool for recipes. You can cost recipes, tag allergens and create Nutrient Panels. See our website for details at www.itdesktop.net. When finished adding ingredients, click close to return to our recipe. The number of serves per packet is displayed on some labels. Click calculate nutrients to finish our label and ingredient lists. You can edit custom names to maintain the label ingredient lists. Another feature is usage of custom ingredients. The food databases contain data on thousands of foods, however it is recognized they lack data on some items. Where you are unable to find a food, you can add it as a custom ingredient. The nutrient data may come from laboratory analysis, other food composition tables, product packaging, Google and more. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide on the appropriateness of the data you have obtained. Here we have added data for rolled oats from the manufacturer's packaging. To use our custom ingredient in our recipe, click Add Ingredient. Click Use Custom Ingredient and select our oats. Then click Use Ingredient. Add our weight and save oats to our recipe. You can adjust the ingredient weight by clicking Edit or remove an ingredient by clicking Delete. Click Reports to preview nutrient labels. Reports display in a variety of formats for Australasian, Canadian, UK and USA markets. Click the label formats to select. Right click reports to access pop up menu functionality. We can export reports to a variety of formats. You can use the exported data for your own customized labels. We can revisit recipes at any time to print more labels and any quantity required. The final report is the breakdown for our recipe. I hope you have found this demonstration useful.